Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box and today we're going to be doing a review on the NECA Cult Classics Phantasm set. This includes the Tall Man with the little uh, portal device that he has in the film as well as one of the little evil pygmies which I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head what their name, if they, if they had a name even but they were the little, they were the demons that he he uh, converted and sent to work in the, the weird mining planet or whatever that was that he the, the hell that he sent them to. Uh, yeah, obviously I don't need to watch the film again. It's been it's been a it's been a while, but uh, very cool figure from Neca. Uh, the base is a little warped. Uh, I've seen that on a couple different sets, but it it it, it works. Um, the figure itself definitely looks like the tall man. Kind of a little big in the nose, but it's whatever. Um, this figure actually stands, oh uh, geez, I want to say at least a good maybe nine inches tall compared to the other seven inch figures. Let's see here. Yeah, he actually stands a good eight inches there, so that's kind of cool. But, very cool detail. Uh, as far as accessories goes, he comes with just the base, uh, the little uh, pygmy demon, and his awesome uh, spike orb that he throws. That thing kind of became a bit more notorious throughout the series. But it looks very cool. It's a very cool set, very simple. Um, as far as articulation goes on the tall man, he has no rotation in the elbows at all. He has rotation in the uh, wrists, very little in the ankles, which you kind of need to help prop him up properly on the stand. Um, his shoulder, here we'll pull the camera out a little, shoulder flexes out in on somewhat of a ball joint there. The head is also on a ball joint so you can kind of, it spins 360 there. Um, put him back on the base for now. His hand is made to hold the his little orb uh, perfectly so if you have him kind of tilted up like that works out well. The little demon pygmy guy, he has very limited articulation. His head does somewhat move in the uh, in his little hood there, but not much. Um, there's articulation in the wrists, in the shoulders. It rotates forward and backward, and then the waist. He doesn't really have anything underneath that's all hollow. So it's a fairly uh, fairly limited figure, but it's still scary as fuck nonetheless. So these guys were always one of the creepiest little bits of these films. So it was cool that they they actually went ahead uh, and threw that in the set, uh, which was very nice of them. So, but yeah, that's about all for this set. If you have any questions, leave uh, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.